Hi everyone, so uh, this week is The Farm and I've already done a story about Sarah and Sophia going to the farm and I hope you liked it and this one is about the ugly duckling and he meets all the different farm animals. So this story is illustrated by Polana Loveson and let's find out. Can you guys think of any animals that are from the farm? What animal goes moo? A cow. And what about nay? Yeah, a horse. And what about woof, 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 woof? A dog. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different animals on the farm. What about bah! a sheep? Okay. So let's find out about the ugly dog thing. It was a warm summer's day and Mummy Duck wriggled excitedly on her nest. She could hear a tapping noise. Tap, tap, tap. Quick, quack, quick, Mummy Duck called to the other ducks. My dogs are hatching. Come and see. One by one, the eggs hatched and out popped six chirpy little ducklings. Chip, chip. Their duck sighed, what sweet little ducklings. Mummy duck beamed with pride. But the biggest egg of all still hadn't opened. And mummy duck was sure she had only laid six eggs. Crack! Just then the final egg burst open. Oh! gasped mummy duck. The last duckling wasn't little, yellow or cute. He was enormous, grey and, well, ugly. What an ugly duckling, quacked an old duck. He's not ugly, said Mummy Duck, protectively. He's special. The next day, Mummy Duck took all her little ducks to the farmyard to meet the other animals. The six yellow ducklings proudly puffed out their pretty feathers. Ah, sighed the animals, what lovely ducklings. The, the ugly duckling waddled forward. Hello, he said quietly. Everyone turned to stare at him. He's so grey, neighed the horse. He's so clumsy, mooed the cow. He's so big, squawked the hen. Large teardrops rolled down the ugly duckling's long black beak. He felt all alone. Nobody wants me, he whispered. I'd be better off swimming away. The poor little duckling waddled sadly across the meadow, leaving the farm and his family far behind him. Soon the ugly duckling arrived at a river where some geese were diving for food. Excuse me, the ugly duckling began bravely. Have you seen any ducklings like me? No, you're the strangest looking duckling we have ever seen, the geese aren't. So the ugly duckling waddled on. He was getting very tired. As darkness fell, he crept inside an old barn looking for a place to rest. May I stay here? He asked the animals inside. Can you lay eggs? Clocked the hen. No, said the ugly duckling. Can you catch mice? Purred a cat. I don't think so, said the ugly duckling. Then you're no use here, the cat hissed. The ugly duckling quickly waddled away. He kept going until he came to a large lake. If nobody wants me, then I'll just hide here forever, he sniffed sadly. <coughs> Croaked a frog. What a funny looking duckling. Autumn came and the leaves turned gold. One evening, just as the sun was setting, the ugly duckling saw a flock of beautiful white birds flying gracefully across the sea, across the sky. 
I wish I looked like them, he sighed. All through the long winter, the ugly duckling hid in the reeds, ashamed to show his face. When the first ray of warm spring sunshine arrived, the ugly duckling peered out of his hiding place. A, gra a graceful swan paddled by him, and he backed away, afraid he would be teased. But to the ugly duckling's surprise, the swan swam up to him. Why are you hiding here? asked the swan kindly. Join the rest of us. But then he caught sight of his reflection in the lake. He stared and gasped in amazement. His grey feathers were now snowy white. I'm a swan, the ugly duckling cried happily. Just then, a family of six young ducks waddled along the riverbank with their mother. Look at that beautiful swan, they quacked. Quacked. Mummy Duck recognised her little ugly duckling at once. I always knew he was special, she quacked. The ugly duckling ruffled his beautiful white feathers, turned away and proudly paddled after his new friends. The end. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that story about the ugly duckling. And I'm just going to try and see if you remember some of the things from the story. So... Does anyone remember how many eggs, other than the big egg, there was with Mummy Duck when she was waiting for them to hatch? Have a think. You can count. Let's see. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Did you remember six? And then the big one. Does anyone remember what farm animals he met? along his journey and who he said hello to. Did you remember the horse? The cow? The hen? And the ram? And does anyone remember who else he met along his way? Can anyone think? He goes ribbit and he croaked. What sound is that? A frog. And what about in the barn? Does anyone remember what animals he met? He met the hen and the pussycat and the mice hiding in the hay. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that story and you've had fun looking at all the farm videos. And I shall see you next week. Bye guys.